Hey, what's up, folks? Welcome to Dopey Investing. Today, we're going to cover the outlook of the major forex pairs. And as usual, we are going to start with the EURUSD. As you remember, we did have this our high end. That was our high end. This was our low. And I was telling you that the price is highly likely to reverse from this level. And if you remember, I told you that the price had reaction over here. And the previous week was uh, like this kind of like indecisive. And I've told you that probably there is a probability that the price is going to go just uh, to the downside or uh, more likely i'm expecting for the price to go to the upside and retest the 50 percent of this auto block over here and uh, here it is we did have this bullish week and we did have these bullish months actually uh, as you can see over here and the months already started very very bullish the previous months was very very bullish as well so actually on the monthly time frame we are starting our retracement phase and this is our high and this is our low i don't actually know how far the price is going to go to the upside but on the short term on the short term um, I'm expecting for the price to have some reaction over this level and to go to the downside for a, for a bit, uh, I believe. And here we do have some news. On the Friday, we did have some non for NFP. And NFP was strong above the expected. And that is that might be an indication that the, uh, the Fed, Federal Reserve might increase that is a potential signal for the Federal Reserve to increase the rates by another 0 0.75, like some uh, some sort of like the hike uh, of the rates. So uh, that might be that might be a cause for the upcoming price retracement to the downside. The dollar is going to be uh, strong again if the Fed is going to tighten the monetary policy furthermore. So expecting for the price to retrace to the downside from this 50% level, or at least if we're just talking about the upcoming week, I'm expecting for the price to be just some kind of like the indecisive candle over here to throw some indecisive candle. But if the price is going to go to the upside uh, right at the, right above, we do have this candle. But I'm not expecting for the for this candle to hold actually if price is going to retrace even higher. The probably the price might um, sweep those highs and then make the retracement to the downside, or the price just might go straight to the upside if there is no retracement, if there is no uh, reversal from this exact point. Going to the daily time frame. Um, by the way, guys, if you're not subscribed to our Telegram channel where we share our daily trades, daily thoughts, make sure to subscribe to our Telegram channel. All the links are below this video and all of the videos in our community. And if you're new to this channel, actually go and check other our other videos because we teach the unique, the new method of the other power, uh, which is called op investing methods uh there you can learn how to trade uh how to trade with the time reference for your levels no do not miss this the time reference is going to be not to your trading time actually you can trade anytime uh, your trade might occur anytime uh, we are not restricting your trades to the to some time zone but the levels that are created, the point of interest that you're looking at should be created within some uh, certain uh, time range. So that means, that means, guys, um, that gives you an objective view how to trade it. And furthermore, guys, to learn those OP methods, you can watch our videos on the YouTube first and to get more in-depth and more fuller uh explanations and the methods how to trade them how to combine them you can go and purchase our ebook uh, which is uh, uh still available with a 40 percent discount guys uh or i believe there should be left some spots with actually 60 percent discount so yeah actually check that out uh, for that you just uh for getting the ebook you just need to direct message us on the telegram major pip 
Thank you so much and let's continue. On the daily time frame, we're not having any clear just on the daily time frame uh, the price is still pushing to the upside and we are kind of like made a new higher high over here the price broke the, those highs to the upside and right now it's on the push phase and we cannot conclude when exactly the price is going to reverse like there is no a clear indication on the daily time frame and on the four hourly time frame as well there is no a clear indication that the price is retracing of course we did have this candle while the news uh, occurred but that is nothing there is nothing uh i will be looking for some 15 minute time frame uh kind of like just the best way is to look the op message um Yes, over this zone, you should look for a sell, but how you're going to sell, it all depends on your strategy. Personally, I use our OP methods. Okay, let's move to the USD CAD. I see this video is already becoming too long. I don't want to, I don't like the long videos, actually. Um actually we are we were still waiting for the price to mitigate this level over here, but very strange very strange the euro usd was bullish and again the and simultaneously at the same time the usd cat was bullish but to the end of the week it turned bearish uh in any way like that that's a strange that that's strange guys because uh, how can two uh like negatively correlated pairs can move in uh, in one direction Overall, um, that might be the indication that the price mitigated this um, imbalance over here. And as you remember, guys, the price perfectly, perfectly uh, respects the imbalances. Oh, stop. I don't remember like about the USD CAD. What did I recommend that previous week? Maybe that was on the low time frame. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, right. Uh, maybe on the previous video about the uh, USD CAD, I was recommending for you to look for this imbalance over here. Maybe. But yeah, it reacted from this imbalance perfectly and price kind of like a reversing to the downside. Probably we might have some uh, bearish continuation on the USD CAD, right? Uh, over here, we kind of have the breakout i'm not sure is that valid breakout or no like uh, actually there is two candles outside so maybe that is a valid that is a valid and here it is the price was retracing reaction from this imbalance yeah upcoming week i'm expecting for the usd cat to be bearish oh sh so um USD GPY. On the other hand, USD GPY worked out perfectly. I was telling that the price is going to go to the downside and look at this strong bearish candle. And we are at the point of interest actually. The same story as the USD Euro USD. And actually, price retested the 50% of this beautiful order block over here. And yeah, going to the daily time frame, going to like going to the daily time frame. One, two, three, four, five. And one, two, three, four, five. Not sure what I was actually recommending to the people the previous week. Yeah, I've kind of like recommended, I guess, uh, to for the price that is going to retest this imbalance and then go to the downside. But yeah, as you can see, the price just uh, retested these kind of like the, the last opposing power before the price made this range and then uh, headed tw towards the downside. What is next? What is next for the USD GPY? Yeah, I'm expecting for the price to make just a little push to the downside, and then maybe we have to look for a reversal patterns. We just we are at the point of interest. Like this is our point of interest where we should be looking for a buys. And yeah, that that's your turn. That's your turn to decide 
um, we actually might have some couple of candles like one, two, three candles over here that will be just retesting this 50% and then just to the end of the next week we might have some reversal and actually not maybe the there might be some indecision weekly candle or even I don't think that there's going to be engulfing candles to the upside but there should be exactly the indecision the same thing on the AUD USD we might have some reaction over here we are at this point of interest or at this one uh, did we touch it like no we didn't touch it like actually we might have some uh, extra pushes to the upside and then touch it and then reverse to the downside gbp was d as i was as i told you guys um that was our high and that was our low and i was expecting actually to this to this area to work out but the price is just um pushing so i'm i'm not i'm not actually sure like perfectly we can anticipate we can get we we, we can have a reference to hold this lost uh push to the upside as our auto block as our point of interest and the price might have some push to the upside and then reversal kind of like the falling star formation on the weekly time frame for the upcoming week or some indecision candle yeah the same like others actually i was expecting for the gold to retrace to the downside but it had this push it had this push uh, gain to the upside uh, I'm, I'm not sure like the price pushed very strongly there might be on the weekly time frame uh, some reaction to the downside and then again continuation to the upside Bitcoin Bitcoin yeah, we are again like just ranging over here we're again like ranging so yeah the potential levels where we will be looking for a price are the same like 12k it's around like uh 16k something 16 something uh, just ranging between 16 and 17 but expecting for the price to dive deeper dive lower to 12k area and yeah that's it guys if you like this video, hit the like button, share with your friends, and I wish you all the best. Peace.